So for the extensions, you can see at the bottom I've asked you to complete at least one of the extensions on the bottom here. I'm going to go through the first one with you, and then I want you and your partner to work through and try to think of how you could do the other three. The third or the fourth one is the hardest. Um, so let's go through what you need to do for whichever one you need to pick. You need to go into your notebook and add another backlog item. So I would say client wants the speed of the game to increase as the game goes on so that it gets harder to play. And then... to make a sprint task list. Actually just gonna copy and paste this one here. Just rename it four. And for this one what I'm gonna need to do is add a clock for timing when the game should increase when clock timer goes off increase the interval in which the sprite moves so I'm gonna go here to my app and one of the things that I'm going to explain for this is we had it set when the timer would go off and the timer was going off and the sprite was moving at a specific speed. So what we want to do when a new timer goes off is change the interval of this clock to something faster. So what you'll do is add a second clock and this clock we will call clock speed up game and click OK and I'm gonna say every five seconds will make it go faster so 5,000 milliseconds equals one second and I'm gonna go to my blocks and I'm gonna say whenever the speed up game clock timer goes off I'm going to set the clock move sprite pancake. We're going to change the interval on it. So we want to say set timer interval to, and we want to make it go faster, which means that we'll actually decrease the number there. So I would say to the interval maybe minus 500. There's at a point where it's going to hit zero. So that should be interesting to see how we can figure out how to handle that. So I will say Timer interval minus 500. You could even do 100 and make it go a little bit slower. Mom? Boom. So I realized um, I can do a while test. So I'm going to say while the, and I'm going to duplicate this, while this timer is so I'm going to check to see while this is greater or equal greater than or equal to a hundred I'm just going to say while that interval is greater than or equal to 100 then we'll do this. Otherwise it won't increase it anymore because otherwise it'll get into negative numbers and it might um, mess up a little bit. 
So stop and pause and test this. This is the way to speed up the game. If you can think of a different way to speed up the game, give it a try. Um, maybe this won't work. If it doesn't work, how can you fix it? The next one would be to count the number of misses. So this one gets kind of messy. Um, you will need to add a, another horizontal arrangement and you will add two more labels, one that is misses and one that is the value for it, just like you did for score. And for this one, then I'll go to, after I've had this, the labels updated here, I'm going to go to blocks and I'm going to say when the canvas is touched and I want to make sure that it isn't touching a sprite because the can the sprite becomes part of the canvas so you have to check for that so you'll say when canvas touched if any sprite is touched We want to set that to false so it's not on a sprite. So so I'll say if equals and we'll say any sprite true then I will say false, sorry. That means that they've touched the canvas, but there's no sprite underneath it. Then we will have to have a variable for misses. And we'll set it to zero. And we will then set the global misses to the misses plus one. I'm just going to duplicate this, put it in here. Oh, and I can just do use the drop down to change it to the misses plus one. And then I do need to update the label so that they know that label misses number matches what however the many misses there were. So give this a try and see if it works. Um, if it doesn't, what do you think you could do to fix it? Try some things and see what you can get to work. Make sure you also test this and have written it as a backlog item in here. You should be writing each of these. This one would be sprint task list for backlog item number four if it's the first one you were doing or five if it was the second one and you would say client wants the wants to add up how many times uh, the player misses the sprite so that they can keep track of their misses. And then you would say, you do all the things that we did, add two labels when canvas is touched, if it's not on a sprite, add one to misses. You could also add a sound at that point too. Um, this adding another sprite as a diversion is pretty easy. Look at what you did for the first sprite and duplicate it. That's all you need to do is do all of this, but make a procedure to move the next one, make a timer to move it or move them at the same time, and then decide how you want to score it if they click on the wrong one. Do you want to take away a point? Do you want to add a point? I will be back on Tuesday to work on these with you. I do expect you to get through at least the first part, not necessarily these extensions. They can be um, a little bit difficult, especially the first time that you've done them.